Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, it's Martin here, I hope hope you're all alright, it's really good to see you all. Um, I just want to say, um, sorry I haven't been on YouTube for a little while, I've been updating, um, uploading, sorry, a couple of videos, but not properly face-to-face -face videos like this. Um, a little update on mum. Um, um, it's all been up in the air at the moment, um, and uh, I, I, I've been trying to do a couple of videos. I've recorded it and then deleted it, um, as I just wasn't ready to come on YouTube yet because I was just getting so upset. Um, so, as you know, she has non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. It was in her neck, but it's gone. Um, it's gone from her neck and it's gone into her stomach and the hospital doctor told her that and and also me as well that there's three little bits in her stomach um and there wasn't much more they could do um <clears throat> they can't go through with uh, more chemo because of the whole coronavirus you know her to and fro to the hospital she could pick you know um, the virus up and you know um, it'd be even worse and also if she did have chemo again it means that um, it, it could get rid of it but then within a couple of months it could come back again um, then they said um, I forget the name of it because you know they've got all these different fancy names haven't they there's this big long name and there's a kind of treatment um, not as intense as chemo it's not it's basically a treatment that will help prolong my mum's life of course for days I've just been like I've just shut myself away and I've just been like oh, I've just been crying and hysterically and just you know I've just been we've been besides ourselves you know you know just been uh yeah and that's why a couple of times i tried to come on here and do a video but just getting too upset to talk about it um <clears throat> excuse me um but uh yeah so they offered this treatment to help prolong her life and the doctor said you know give her to a couple of months to the end of the year um you know, I was I don't know if I was like in denial or um and I said, look, we're willing to have surgery. They said that she could have a bone marrow, um, but because uh, of her age, she's seventy nine, nearly eighty. Um and you know, and they can't do surgery because of the you know, um they said there's too much cancer there and um because of her age it will kill her. Um Yeah. So, um, so like I say, we were beside ourselves, um, just, um, we've been talking about like funeral arrangements and stuff, you know, I know we, we, we don't want to talk about those kind of things, you know, talk like she's already gone, but it's kind of things that we have to think about. Anyway, um, we got another phone call today from one of the specialist nurses and they spoke to mum and they're going on with, um, she's going to have a PET scan and they're going to see how big the cancer is um, and then um, go through with radiotherapy and we've been reading up and radiotherapy breaks up the little cancer cells and hopefully does get rid of it so fingers crossed this is the third time mum's had cancer she's had skin cancer and also um and polop polop cancer i can never pronounce it properly and she's been cleared of both and they've always come back as benign so third time lucky hopefully um we just uh, we just need some good news you know um excuse my language because i'm gonna swear but 2020 has been absolutely shit at the moment you know um and i think it's worse because i've not been able to go out and see my family i've not you know i would at this time i'd probably go around my sister-in-law and my brothers or i'd meet up with one of my friends and we just can't it's just that's what's making it harder and i i'm not saying you know it's only just me you know um you know we're all in the same boat and i think it's it 
well it is it's affecting all of us it's affecting all of us and it's really getting to us now um but hopefully we won't have to wait much longer so please pray for my mum we need a miracle um and um i know god is on my side i prayed you know i know like some of you may not be religious um i mean but i prayed and i said to god i said you know please help my mum please take care of her if it is her time that she needs to go then keep her safe you know but i don't want her to go just please um just try to heal her, heal her, make her better, um, and yeah, so I thought I'd quickly come on here and let you guys know, you know, that, um, you know, because I've been saying for a while that I've been going to be coming back on here to let you know about mum, um, and we're just waiting on a letter now, you know, in the post, um, to, to let her know, um, um, you know when when the appointment is um so that should be soon and i can go with her as well i'm allowed to go with her but i have to wait outside mm. so it, it we're not out of the woods yet but we've got to stay positive you know i was kind of losing myself a little bit you know the last couple of days i kind of lost myself and you know um yeah um but um but yeah, a little bit of positive news. Yeah, we need some good news. <clears throat> so it's a lovely, uh, another sunny day outside. Yes, yeah, so I know you can't really see much, but that's my garden. Yeah. All nice and sunny. Yeah. Um, just. We've just been having a lazy day today, really, just, um, yeah, just uh, chilling out. That's not in my spare room, I was in my mum's room a minute ago, that was the spare room, and back into my room. <clears throat> oh, sit down. So, my bedroom now, I've got me, me cup of char, cup of charlie. I did start on the, just let me show you what I've uh, sort of, um, um, that's the treacle tart with the cream that I got yesterday from uh, Sainsbury's. It's all right, but it's a little bit too sickly. I couldn't eat it all. Got me crispies, my kettle crisps. They were only a pound. And, and those, a little, little snackette. Hmm. Um, Got my magazines. I still have got. I was meant to read them last night. Yeah, all my magazines that I brought yesterday, but um, I was really tired and I didn't get re around to reading them. So I will, at some point, read them today. And uh, this is the book that Mum was given. Mm. Um, about her cancer and all the information and on radiotherapy so I'm going to read that and then um, and I will come back on again and let you guys know um, so yeah we're not we're not going out um, uh, no we're not, um, tomorrow get okay, because we went out yesterday um, so we, we didn't go out today because we got the phone call we didn't want to be out you know um, they were just having a lazy day. Um, been have a nice, um, chilled weekend, really. Just, um, uh, <clears throat> yeah, be watching my, uh, Britain's Got Talent tomorrow and Mrs. Brown Boys. Um, and, uh, yeah, a bit of dinner. I think, I think we're getting Chinese again. So I know, Chinese again. <laughs> um, Um, so tomorrow, I'll be back on here tomorrow, and I'll just be doing, um, <clears throat> I'm going, I'm going, I'm be going for a walk tomorrow, um, 
yeah going for a little walk um so yeah i'll be taking pictures um because uh, i'm meeting up I, I know we're not allowed to meet up with people but um we're staying away from each other um you know um keeping you know a couple of foot from each other and we're just going for a walk because she needs to get out of the house as well and her mum is going through basically what my mum's going through so we just need um we're only going to be out for about an hour just like just to chat and get things off our chest and just talk to each other and just um yeah an old school friend of mine same age as me um um and just go for a nice walk so i'll be taking plenty of pictures of the park and that um where we go just little videos and that and then i'll put them all together plus videos of me watching britain's got talent and me watching mrs brown boys you know so nothing exciting um yeah and, and also what i'm eating as well so and i'll put them all together you know make one uh, long video um so i really really hope that all of you are all right um uh yeah just give a, a massive big shout out to all my subscriber friends um my youtube friends i mean um and uh, just thank you again for watching my videos um and thanks for all your love and support and mum really appreciate appreciates it as well um so yeah thank you Thanks very much. Like I say, I hope you're all all right. Um, so I'm going to end the video now. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, so I feel a little, I feel a lot better now. You know, I feel a little bit uplifted. You know, <sighs> yeah. Um, um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope you like the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, and um, and please leave a message down below if you want to and um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do because again that would really mean a lot and um, also click the little notification bell the little bell icon at the side and that just lets you know that I've uploaded a video to YouTube so you take care guys love and hugs and um, yeah I'll see you tomorrow bye for now